Brother Tommy, scene 14A, take one. Search our whole lives looking for a friend. Soulmate. All the time, the most beautiful, the most precious things are right under our noses. Arja, I'm ready to go. Come on, y'all! Both ends, ends of the couch, couch I'm not stupid! What? Girl, you got to do it! You better not say a big mouth to Martin, I swear I'm gonna kill you! You better shut it up! Shut it up! Ooh, this is gonna be good. Ooh. What? What about Cole? This your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, I mean not Spider-Man. <clears throat> this your friendly neighborhood, damn, damn it, man. Do you need me to leave? No, I had it right the first two times. All right, this your friendly neighborhood caveman, Eric Ray Bond, producer extraordinaire, you know what I'm talking about? Come holla at me, my boy. You feed. My name is Bobby Huntley. I'm the writer and director of Pam and Tommy, a Detroit love story. Yeah, man, what that is. Pam and Tommy, I mean, people keep asking us, well, they're, they're asking this guy, because he's the one who does that bullshit at the end of it. Um, July, like, sorry. Uh, I still think we should blame this guy right here. So if y'all having beef, turkey, ham, aim it at that guy. Now, you just released, um, or you know, you have a trailer out, like Pam and Tommy is and the whole spin. Oh, this about to, I see, Tommy. look, this is about to be real. I know. It was just very thoughtful, super funny, I and I just, I love the levity. I think the casting is good, the directing look good. So niggas are shooting the trailers before they even have a show. Yo, somebody just, somebody just did the same thing for Mark. I like what they put a spin on it. This is giving me obsessed, this is giving me get out, this is giving me com dark I, I like, comedy, I don't know, I'm a little nervous. I like the spin on this. I like the spin on this. I love it. I love the fact that they take a lot of these funny sitcoms or movies and change them into some dramatic. I want to know, can they do math like that? Me and Halle Berry, I get a little some of that Halle Berry Berry juice. You know that Halle Berry juice. I'm not too familiar with Bobby Huntley, but I'm not sure if he's new to the game or what, but he like he might have a hit. Now seeing, um, you know, Bel Air kind of, you know, did a spin off and they have a show running as well. And I know they released a trailer back in 2019. Did you find any inspiration, you know, from that trailer? Shout out to Morgan Cooper. Like what he's done is just amazing. He set the bar. I've been a filmmaker since I was 10 years old. I've um, started, you know, watching Mad TV. Shout out to uh, Jordan Peele and, you know, <laughs> SNL and recreating their skits and their things like that. So the aspect of taking known pieces and doing spins on them, I've pretty much been doing that since I was 10. <laughs> What was it like working on him and Tommy? I think what set the tone was the first rehearsal. It was fun, like it was fun, but it was serious. It gave me so much confidence to be able to create with my people and then to really just pay homage to um, the original casting crew. Right, here we go. And action, nice and smooth. I know when my girl is hiding something from me. She is acting way too different. Tommy, what are you doing here? Came to bring you see. This man came with this idea the first week of February and wanted to shoot it in the first week of February. Yeah. Pre-production, production, and post on the same week. Yeah. And you know, we got the team together and we just made it happen, knocked it out in like a week. Wow, good for you. Wow, that, that's that definitely amazing. Yeah, I just creative moments and I just be like, hey, I have a creative thought that needs to be expressed. And what if we take this with that? Did you know anything at all about Mr. Lee before you met him? I knew he was the drummer for Motley Crue. Mix them up, bring them together, and just see how people respond to it, see how people react to it. Oh my God, and they're kissing. 
And <laughs> I asked you. Being on set for Pam and Tommy was a blessing. I've learned a lot, like to trust the journey, to trust yourself, and to trust your director. It was amazing. Pam and Tommy, scene 14A, take one. But Tommy, we can't do this. We're friends. <laughs> yeah, just sink down the wall. His hands sweating. <laughs> I don't want to lose that. But what if we gain so much more? I was notified by Bobby. I remember seeing a message. Um, I think it was on uh, Instagram. And he told me about you know the project and the idea. And I told him, if we do this right, it, it's going to be amazing. It's going to hit the culture like nothing before. Being able to play time on this project was one of the best things personally as well as my my uh, acting career uh, is one of the best things ever. The part of this that uh, I knew we were supposed to be doing it at the time that we did it, which was a week after we wanted to, uh, the day we wrapped is when they announced the 30th anniversary for Martin, and we had no idea. So we was like, yo, we are on the fucking money. Put your ass up, Cole. Stand up, Cole. Pam and Tommy, scene 20C. Take one. And I like that start start on this. I'm ready to go and action. What? That aspect of the Martin show, Pam and Tommy's relationship, like I, I was like really young when that show was on. And my earliest memory was the scene with Gina on the couch when she finds out about it. So that was like the first time that I recognized on TV suspense and comedy and building a moment on top of a moment on top of a moment. And just seeing their genius and how they built that. Tisha Campbell and Tashina Arnold, their, their comedic genius as comedic actresses is like unparalleled. And you know, so, and rest in peace Tommy Ford, like, come on, like, it's just, it was just amazing to be able to showcase that relationship. Cause everybody knows Martin and Gina backwards and forwards. Right, I right. Wanted to see, right. I want to show some love to okay. Tommy and Pam. What about Cole? Girl, so what? Everybody hates Cole. Do you know how exhausting it is for everybody to see me as a joke? I'm sick of this shit. Don't you know? Don't think I don't know about your fascination with that other girl. And you still up in your mama house. You either get your shit together or I'm gone. Early. He's told us from the beginning, he said, you know, I can't guarantee anything, but I know this is going to be special. I ain't been slapped in five years. I ain't broke camera. It definitely changed my dynamic as an actor being from New York City and then coming to Atlanta. It was one of the first projects that I did, so I was able to meet more directors, more actors, and get into the network of Atlanta. Everywhere I was going, they was calling me Cole, you know. I was thankful to just be a part of it. He's supposed to be boys, right? He's not so bad. You gotta figure out a way to tell him. Because he's not gonna He might not be too bright. He might have terrible, terrible toes. And he can't read too good. But he's our Cole. When it went super viral, people was like, oh my gosh, it's a spinoff, it's coming, blah, blah, blah. And people are still asking about it to this day. When it finally came out and to see the reaction of how fast it hit the internet, it would blow up on Twitter, on Facebook, you know, I mean, people just sending me messages and it was a lot. It was it was actually a bit overwhelming because I never had anything like that happen. I was getting phone calls when this was coming out. Where can we watch this? I mean, I think it really made my family into a believer and that's hard when you're in this craft to get your, your friends and your family to believe in you. Don't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Pam. <laughs> Don't. It shows me that, like, wow, we really, we did a great job. I'm gonna bust your head, Cole. Get out my face. Doing the project, I knew that there was gonna be reactions to it. I was a bit nervous about it, but not too much, because I knew that Bobby was capable. Um, the team was great, and I knew the energy that we had on set 
especially in different locations and different wardrobe and everything, I knew that it was going to be, you know, top notch. I grew. I, I learned to trust myself. Girl, I am done. You shouldn't give up so easily, Pam. Huh. You just got to push. Push until you get it right. I was stretched as an actress, meaning that I was challenged to go certain places that I never went before. The product that was put out was just my boy. You think you slick, Pam. Gonna figure it out. What's up, what's up, what's up? Thank you to uh, the people that, that viewed it, liked it, talked about it, whatever you did with it. We appreciate it. It definitely motivated me to get back back to the grind. Uh, so I even quit my job. So instead of Marty Mar, I'm more like Tommy Tom. So, you know, Pam and Tommy Detroit Love Story, we did that. It's for the culture. Peace. I think that the best part of all of this was just um, being able to make something so monumental, so historic, and to do it with a really fun cast and crew, because I promise you, you never stop laughing. Can give us a little bit more? Huh? Give us a little bit more? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's how you Damn. Oh, shit. You know, when someone taps, that means they tap. You know what's happening. I'm not even doing his touch. Shut up, Toby. Um... I just hope that after this project that, you know, we're able to come together again and work together again and again and again. If you want to see Pam and Tommy and you want to make it happen, continue to make noise. Please. Make noise. Because we do not own the rights. We have no control over that. You want to talk to somebody? Talk to Viacom. It's not our fault. Viacom? They own the property. But it's... Okay. Viacom yeah. owns BT. But it's how you said it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Shout out to Viacom. Damn, damn it, man. <laughs>